Good day and night to you, dear listener. The beauty of Land of Good Economy is that you can start it right away. The economic part is easy to explain and implement. The formula is here, ready for you. The formula was first created as a theory and has now fully proven its effectiveness in the Dutch Sustainable Villages Network. 338 villages are implementing this formula, and in this video I will be happy to share with you how they did it. But to be able to understand how the formula works, you need to have a certain state of mind. You need to know how to take responsibility for yourself, how to see yourself as your new assignment, as your best investment, as an independent, self-manageable unit. It's not about the ego, though, not about being selfish. It's about the awakening and the fact that everything you ever wanted is in you. Believing yourself is not good enough. Knowing yourself and feeling it are required. Because only the right feelings are the true answer to peace and prosperity. If you don't feel good, if you don't learn how to feel joy in whatever you do, then none of the material stuff will ever satisfy you. I'm putting together a team of teachers right now, which will help to find and maintain the mindset focused on personal well-being. Although for some it might be strange to discuss the inner self during the conversation about the economy, but you will see, after freeing yourself from some concepts of the mind, you will be able to unite with people and nature on a higher level, the level of freedom, happiness and prosperity. Ideal, you should let go of a so-called system based on concepts of belonging to a certain country, to a particular nation, race or a political party. You might feel much better being an earthling, a child of the Mother Earth. And only the people you are surrounded with, people you love and who love you, matter. While mastering your mind, you can also consider the process of the coming soon disintegration of big cities. During the pandemic, densely populated metropolises proved to be a high-depending and high-demanding unit, while you better live in a self-sustainable unit. A unit that is prepared for any kind of emergency and cataclysm. During the pandemic, most of the cities ran out of the supplies in a very short time. This should be alarming. Because of the climate crisis, it looks like the pandemic might not be the last possible challenge for us to face. So what is a self-sustainable unit? In Land of Good, we call it Ordex. Ordex plays a central role in the economy of Land of Good. Ordex is the merging of the farm with the local ecosystems and sometimes the city. Ordex is a self-sustainable unit, an organized community, a society on its own, where people bind together by common needs and ideals without an opposition. People who live in the Ordex we call Ordexiers. All Ordexes are always interconnected by one network, but not interfering with each other's affairs, unless agreed differently. There are two ways to establish an Ordex. First way lies outside of the city, where people merge with nature without disturbing its ecosystem. And the second one takes place in the city, where people are trying to restore nature on urban territories. This second way is the scenario which will unfold in the cities in the near future. At a certain point, the cities will have to face the challenge to grow their own food in urban spaces. But the first scenario is already happening in our reality. And I am happy I can share here with you our experience. If you already live in the country, more power to you. But open your mind for more people to join you. Because with the climate changes to come, you won't manage on your own. You need a team. Farmers should better be open-minded about having an ordex. Because sooner or later they will see people pour into the villages looking for food and water. So they better be prepared. If you live in the city and don't have a possibility to have a house on land, start making connections with your local farmers. Help them, collaborate with them, learn from them, get your food directly from them instead of supermarkets. Ask them, how can I be useful? How can I live by your side, not being a hinder? Discuss it many, many times, because we are entering the age of Aquarius, and Aquarius loves discussions, consensus, and justice. You can trust me on this, because I am Aquarius myself. 
discuss a starting a community together, a community of like-minded people, a network that with the time will include all kinds of experts like constructors, engineers, scientists, doctors, caretakers, teachers, artists, field workers, plumbers and other vital specialists. A network of social cohesion involve lonely senior people by giving them the pleasure to look after the juniors. It will give you the time and space to work on your ordex. Once you are settled in the country and managed your social ties, you can move on to the next priority, which is an independent electricity supply. An independent energy source is the keystone of land of good economy, because the energy that will only be controlled by your ordex will lead to economic independence. So it's very important that your ordex will figure out how to generate energy. Here in Holland and Belgium, they solved this challenge with solar panels. Dutch government subsidizing it, some companies sponsor. So the network used this opportunity. Try to get it in your region as well. Otherwise, reach out to your local farmers or to a community that already got it. Once you got your own electricity supply, you will be able to accomplish the next step, installing your own water system. Water will allow you to plant and grow your own food and manage your waste recycling production. Once you got these basic needs under control, your ordex is ready to function. It sounds like a lot, but this is how it's done in 338 independent ordexes in Holland and Belgium. They also started with just one community and one solar panel. Today, they are as far as focusing on infrastructure, healthcare, new education systems and art, building their own culture. Can you imagine how far they came in just five years' time? It went so fast because their ordexes are exchanging information peer-to-peer. -peer. The network offers experts, organizations and education for free. They don't work for a boss. They work for themselves, for the family and for their ordex. They don't make money, they make abundance. So contributionism is at the core of the economy of land of good. Contributionism is the art of giving and receiving, built on kindness, compassion and flexibility. Ordex years work only for the people they like, because they love what they do, not because they must. Exchange of knowledge, expertise, products and services based on contributionism make the economy go round. In Land of Good, all production, distribution and trade are performed within the personal social ties. This makes the development of an honest, good reputation essential. Since the products are exchanged locally, there is a significant reduction in production. Less in land of good is the new more. Less production, less packaging, less distribution, less obsession with products, less waste. And more time for yourself, your loved ones, and for to enjoy life. This conscious reduction economy in land of good is the opposite to our patriarchal male-driven economic growth, because the foundation of it lies in the true balance between the great masculine and the great feminine that we discussed in the previous video. Conscious reduction economy relieves a lot of stress on society and creates a better emotional background, which translates into the immunity to illnesses, hunger and viruses. This immunity helps ordexiers to feel good about themselves, to make good decisions and develop their true talents. Because ordexes have their own products and use almost no products and services from the government, they pay almost no taxes. Furthermore, the government is obliged to support them because the villages develop sustainability projects. This is a serious legal independence we are talking about. It's actually a very feminine-like approach. If something is not working, save what you can save, take what you can take, and move on without an unnecessary confrontation. So if you dream of an independence, you better leave the dying, decaying system for what it is. We can't help it anymore. We can't expect rotten apples to grow us fresh strawberries, can we? You better begin to invest your efforts in yourself and in your community 
If you think about how much of your precious time and energy you have given to your boss, to your government, how much time you waste on watching the news, discussing them, getting emotionally involved, going on strikes and protests, do the math, and you will see how many houses you could have built already. But you know there is no use to feel sorry for yourself. Because life is like that, things are changing all the time. And if you don't want to miss the survival train, you have to be flexible, tolerant and creative. Every Ordex here has a free choice between all Ordexes. Land of Good is a liquid community concept, because migration is seen as the basic need to explore the different options of living and to choose what fits you most in this particular stage of your life. House swap, car sharing, boat sharing, season project, adventure work, non-attachment education make the migration between the Ordexes easy and fun. Everybody can live or join any Ordex as long as one is ready for contributionism, seeing kindness as the new currency. In the age of Aquarius in Land of Good, it's survival of the kindest and not the fittest. This is how freedom of any kind is secured in Land of Good. Such freedom, however, comes with responsibility and self-discipline. This is where the right education plays a central role, which we will discuss in the next video. Thank you.